Everyone thinks of pros as being these godlike players, incapable of making bad plays. They do seem that way, but of course, they're human, just like you and me. And they too have their moments of utter defeat and embarrassment. And that's why for today's video, we went and compiled 10 of the biggest tournament fails from pro players. This is the best of the best at their worst. Their most disastrous, silliest, and downright blunderous plays we could find. Trust me, everybody makes mistakes, but today we're gonna celebrate them. So make sure you like the video for good luck and watch until the very end. Starting with a fail from one of the best players on earth, World Cup winner Buga, who apparently switched around some of his keybinds because when he was fishing for some floppers during a recent FNCS game, he caught onto something that caused a bit more trouble than he bargained for. Is that you who shot your strike? No, 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 there's a kid right above us. Yeah, I told you that. What the f Bro, <laughs> I'm on a shark. shark. <laughs> like, what just happened? Just How do I get off? How do I, I don't have an exit bind. I, I don't have an exit bind. Bigger, drive it into me. Drive it into me. Drive it on the land. Drive it on the land, bro. <laughs> like, what just happened? Drive happen? it on the land. I am build. Wait. No, you're going to get off. What is the exit button? Wait. It's not getting off. I don't have an exit. <laughs> Go in your settings. <laughs> what is it? Find it for me. Someone find it for me. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, bro. I'm finding it. I'm finding it. <laughs> find it. Please. <laughs> so, he's the best in the world and can't escape a shark, eh? I'm just kidding. But luckily, Booga did eventually find the right keybind and was able to finally escape the clutches of this untimely great white. Before we move on, if failing is what you want to avoid, check out Pro Guides Coaching. We can work with you one-on-one -on -one and help you improve much quicker than you could on your own to help take you to the next level. Check us out at the link in the description. Mitra is a player typically known for incredible clutches, not silly failures. But during week five of the Solo World Cup qualifiers, it was his last game and he was super close to qualifying. All he needed to do was stay alive. But then this happened. So those three placement points is carefully watching through that cone, looking for any play he can make. And oh, no, no, Mitro, oh, you're he, better than this. We know this. Man. He does not make the edit play before he shadow is he bombs. Through? Is he, he does not no, make it through time. one second earlier. He would have been fine if only he had gone for that early edit. You cannot interact with anything but doors as a shadow, and he is not able to get out of that. So once Micho popped the shadow bomb, he was stuck. And the worst part is that all Micho needed was top five with like one more kill that game and he would have earned his seat in solo World Cup finals. Crazy how close it can get and I have a feeling this one still haunts Micho to this day. So with its ability to control height during the end game, the Shockwave Launcher was widely considered the most overpowered item in season three, except Maybe one in the possession of pro player E11 Agalor. Goes up the hill. Nice. Damn it, I just helped that in. Watch out. No. Okay, Agalor. <laughs> He's not the best with the shotgun launcher. Oh, he shot his chat out. I'm going up, going up, going up. All right. Oh, they got me, they got me, on me. One shot of one. You just launched me out, bro. <laughs> all the way out. Oh, no way. You launched me all the way out. Hey, I'm you're so tough. Bro. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, bro, I didn't know. <laughs> you're good, you're good. Oh, my God. I was about to kill my guy. Too, I right? can't. I can't. Right? Every single stop, please. If you have masks, keep breathing. So in the span of like 20 seconds, Aguilar broke his teammate's launch pad and then knocked himself and his teammate into the storm. I mean, they do say with great power comes great responsibility. So perhaps he should take more responsibility. You ever just stare death in the face knowing there's nothing you can do to prevent it? That's what Benji Fishy had to do in this cash cup. His game was going great and he went to rotate off this waterfall, but really, he should have looked down before diving. Link to the prime and Mars United Pitcher linked to the prime. Thank you very much, guys. Oh no! There's no f way, bro. There is no way! 
Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's no way. Yeah, poor Benji. Nothing he could have done there, although this trick was pretty well known, so he probably should have looked before he leaped. Imagine you had 11 floppers in an end game. How long do you think you'd survive the storm? 15, 20 seconds, 40 maybe? Well, let's allow a Swedish pro by the name of Y answer that for us. Um, so he needs to be really careful about taking tags because if you get pinned down and you get onto white HP this late in the game, you're not going to get a chance to utilize the floppers, but uh-oh, this player's directly underneath him, drops down and is just going to wait. This is what we talked about. He's going to play the floppers and wait for others to use the utility. He's going to recycle through it and to see if he can't go make a play. Right now, he's looking for a launch pad on the back of zone. Will you... Wow. That just happened. <laughs> ah, there was so much we could have talked about. Why fish his heart out for all those floppers, but I don't know, he must have not felt hungry or something. Seriously though, as to why he didn't pop another at 50 health like every other player in existence, I guess the world will never know. Moving on, TSM myth and fall damage have had quite the relationship throughout his career. So when he packed his bags for the weekend to travel to a big tournament, avoiding it at all costs was probably at the forefront of his mind. But fate works in mysterious ways, and apparently so do quad crashers, as Myth found out very quickly that weekend. In the, uh, the good old boost special on the ETV here, getting super far. Gotta love listenings, because you never know what you're gonna get with a listening, right? Like, you're either gonna get the greatest communication. I mean, there's not really much to talk about right now, right? Oh, it's like, gonna happen here. There's oh, players yeah. everywhere. Oh boy. Oh, oh no. no! Oh! It's just like, it's, it's like, why? <laughs> it keeps happening. The fall damage keeps happening. It just to him. follows him. He's confused. This. And then there's you have a storm, storm wing. wing. Oh, oh no. no. Oh no. Oh, this is not looking good for TSM. Case is gonna try to hold this one out. Wow, if Zill comes in and takes this down right here, it's all him. It's a free Elo. Oh right there. Oh my word. It gets taken out. Just takes massive fall damage on the what fall What happened there. there? It's Case it up to defend by himself Case with the Storm gone. Wing. Plus Zill, just not enough. So just like that, Myth was off to an awful start for the tournament. Spoiler alert, he didn't end up doing his best. But luckily, it taught us all about how you shouldn't jump out of moving vehicles. Now, some people say that nothing in life is predetermined and that your outcome is decided by your own actions. That's karma in a nutshell, and at the World Cup, it certainly rang true for Skeptic after he did this. Number advantage, Clips has time to pop one mini, and it looks like they're gonna go for it right now. They've made the conscious decision to try to build out, but no, they back up for a moment. Finally gets a shotgun. Yep, shotgun picked up. Grenades now as well. They want to go for the second elimination, and we take the, oh my God, we did got the track talk the in real life. life? Did he just take the L in real life? Homie, this is land. This dude's gonna come over. No, I'm just kidding. 40, but the sticks come know, on man. in. Sticks coming in, 22 health left. Campfire down, he has. Oh, and look who's here. Third party. Hello. Look who's here. NA puts up the take the L, and EU says, no, no, no. This is the World Cup, baby. I'm gonna show which continent is best. Mitro and Mongrel, full HP, and they storm roll through. Dual links for Mitro, Clicks still right there. down low. Wow, incredible. Let's look at that kid. Gold scar, gold combat, heavy shotgun, or I'm sorry, heavy sniper rifle for taking opponents' walls. Let's look at they're just stealing and bum rushing, and that's gonna be it. So just like that, Skeptic got pretty cocky after a single kill and tilted. But man, talk about a bad time to showboat. Goes to show that we really need to keep our heads in the game until it's actually over. Not many of us encounter the Storm Surge mechanic, but basically, anytime there are too many players alive, Storm Surge starts hurting players who've dealt below average damage. Pros typically avoid it by looking for tags throughout the early game. However, RBK Arab and his squad had their own plan to survive it here. Do we have bandages? <laughs> oh, okay. We're gonna have to relight it. Yeah, um, I we're gonna have to relight it. <laughs> Relighting a campfire is gonna. They're probably getting tagged too. I'm gonna smoke it. I can't smoke it. We should start drinking minis, dude. Oh my god. <sighs> Need 
Somebody stoke you. I have zero wood. I got it. I got it. I got it. We're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, there's a guy right there. Okay. Popping one minute. I got hit. I. It was extra stream. Yes, push, push calculator. Yes, yes. Aww. I swear, Emad has the most contagious laughter ever. But honestly, I feel like this is one of those moments that might have worked had the other team not been there. Either way, surviving Storm Surge without a campfire probably wasn't the smartest decision, but at least we all know that by now seeing that catastrophe. <laughs> Remember when Paradise got a makeover and turned into Moisty Palms, making it so you could transform into toilets, shelves, and a bunch of other weird objects? Well, TSM Zexro does, that's for sure, as he found out the hard way during this big money FNCS qualifier match. One dead. That prop sounds not a family fucking win. Did you get stuck under the build, Zex, after you used the mm. Yes, you did. I get that the final moments of a tournament can be tense, but not only did Zexro try crouching again after it failed already, but then he botched like three shockwave grenades. And to top it all off, he apparently lost out on something like 20 grand here, all because he tried to turn into a dang lawn chair. Spectacular. <laughs> Do you guys remember Epic's first official tournament, week one of the summer skirmish? It was a disaster. The servers became so laggy in the final circles and Courage JD, who technically was a pro, don't at me, got to experience the fiasco firsthand. Oh, look at this. What is, a teammate. Is he about to say, I'm staying here? What a teammate. Oh my gosh. Look at this teamwork. Ah! Oh, good oh, luck. No. Good I luck. I, 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 dude, I can't even move, bro. I cannot even move, bro. I cannot even move, bro. <laughs> one more, more time. time, one more oh time. Oh my god. I can't even move. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Please, God, I just want to live. Oh, I'm just god. a young boy. This, this is, this is real dangerous. 34 people. Let's see if he can make his way out of this situation. He's trying to gain height. I'm just a young boy. I can't get out of the zone. <laughs> oh, no. Why? 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 <laughs> <laughs> no. Courage. I feel so bad. So a big fail, if you ask us. Not on Courage's part, though. This is an Epic Games fail through and through. They had 250,000 big ones on the line for this event, which they actually had to cancel because it was too laggy. Obviously things have gotten better since then, but wow, is this a bad look for Fortnite or what? Anyway guys, that's it for the video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, hit that like button and we've got a whole lot planned, so make sure you're subbed with the bell on so you don't miss out. Leave any comments or thoughts on your favorite fail down below. Once again, my name is Steph and I'll see you all in the next one.